Hey guys, this is Mr. Roxy coming at, uh, at you from Palm Beach in Florida. This is uh, installment number two of my uh, top five energy picks. Uh, by the way, these are positions that I am long in. So I'm just sharing with you uh, the reasons why I'm long in them and sharing some information that might be of interest to you in case you were thinking of potentially investing in some energy yourself. Uh, the, um, for the second installment today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Total. So Total is the uh, French super major uh, energy company. And what we're going to do is take a look at Total and um, look at the reasons why you might be interested in investing in Total at all, or otherwise why you may want to avoid Total because I wouldn't know. Uh, firstly, as I said, the company is based in France. So if you're in the United States, you are buying ADRs. ADRs means uh, American Depository Receipts. So you're not actually buying the shares and there might be a little cost attached to that, so you need to be aware of that too. If you are a US tax resident and you are interested in investing in Total. So the first thing I do as usual on a need to know basis, when to buy, when to sell, and when to hold, I have absolutely no idea. I don't know anything about your financial situation. I don't know anything about your uh, earnings, your investment objectives, or anything of that nature. Or well, what I can do is provide you with some educational information and you can make some qualified decisions after you've done your own due diligence. The first thing I usually do with almost any equity that I am interested in investing in or one that I am invested in and I take a look at it frequently anyway, is I go to TipRanks. TipRanks is an aggregator of all the analysts' opinion basically and they are currently rating total neutral, seven, just slightly above neutral in terms of the actual numerical score on the sliding scale. Uh, if we look at a company snapshot for Total, we can see that, uh, as I said, Total is a super major. It has a market cap of almost $120 billion. You look at the range, 52-week range over here, 28 to 50, uh, and the current price is around 44. So you can see there's a little bit of uh, run rate left there for it just to get to its 52-week range. And by the way, if it gets, to, uh, or when it gets to $50 a share, it's actually arguably still very, very cheap. One of the reasons why I am long in total and have been for quite some time is because it pays a dividend of over 7%. So this is not a speculative position for me. This is a buy and hold keeper. It's one of the foundational stocks in my energy portfolio. Uh, the institutional investment holding here is not absolutely correct because uh, my online brokerage in the United States does not actually effectively capture institutions that are based in the European Union or elsewhere in the world. The short interest is almost nothing, uh, and you would be absolutely nuts or super brave to be uh, shorting Total at the price of around 44 bucks. If we look at the analysts in terms of where they're at, five of them say buy, one of them say hold. It's a strong buy according to the analysts. This is from tip ranks as well, with a target price of almost $57. Now the current price, as I said, is around $44, so there's some upside here. And even the lowest um, analyst prediction over the next 12 months is 50 bucks, which is uh, you know more than 10% from where it is currently, uh, with someone being bold enough to say Total is going to $60 plus per share. Uh, upcoming dates, very, very shortly. In fact, um, coming up this week on Thursday, April 29th, uh, while we are sleeping, uh, because Total is headquartered in France, they will release earnings and we expect to see approximately 85 cents per share as an EPS. Um, the previous year in the first quarter, they uh, had achieved 66. Uh, so this would be quite a nice little upside year. We'll have to see what happens when they report on Thursday morning. And by the time we wake up, we will know what the uh, earnings are for the last or most recent quarter. Valuation analysis includes the statement that Total seems inexpensive with a price to sales ratio of 0 0.9, which is below the oil, gas, and consumable fuels industry median of 1.4. If we look at the price to sales the trailing 12 months, there's the 0.97, the industry is at four, and the price to book for the most recent quarter, we see Total at one and the industry at more than three. So Total, by any type of metric that you look at, is inexpensive. Profitability analysis, it says while it is better at most than converting, uh, at converting revenues to profit, its gross margin is on par with the industry norm. Uh, it's interesting here, the little black line is the industry average, the little gray square or rectangle is total. 
you can see that uh, the operating margin is pretty much in line with the rest of the industry, 36, 39, pretty much the same thing. The operating margin though, uh, total, is outperforming the industry significantly in terms of um, operating profit for the trading 12 months, uh, and the net profit is significantly better than the industry as well. So total is very efficient at turning uh, its revenues into profitable revenue, and everybody likes net new profitable revenue. Total's debt to capital ratio is 42%. This is actually quite low. Uh, in the previous video, the number one video that I made, which was NAD transfer, the um, debt to capital ratio was more than 60, which is more along the lines of Occidental. Total at 42% is actually slightly below the industry average because the industry average is 43. Change in debt, uh, slightly lagging as well, uh, taking on less debt than the industry as a whole, but it's pretty much in line. It's almost the same thing. I like to see a quick ratio of one or above. Total is at one, so a little bit uh, fight here, but it's okay. Uh, interest coverage, um, it's okay. Because they have a, a reasonably strong quick ratio, I'm okay with the uh, interest coverage for the most recent quarter. So guys, that's a wrap on Total. Um, when you get a chance, let me know in the comments whether you think this one is uh, something that you are interested in, in investing in or whether you should run away or stay away from Total. By the way, I am back on Twitter at Rudy Best. If you want to follow me there, you're welcome to do so. Uh, but I would caution you that I say whatever is on my mind at any given time. So if you are very sensitive uh, and uh, especially if you uh, believe everything that the politicians tell you are true, you probably do not want to follow me because Politicians are some of my least favorite people. Um, on that happy note, this is uh, Rudy saying, uh, you guys got to take care. Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that you're watching. If you have a chance and you like my videos, please uh, subscribe. Uh, I look forward to your comments because, of, as you know, I'm going to reply to most of them anyway. Uh, and uh, take care. Stay safe. Stay away from COVID. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.